Torsions. Torsions refers to the moment twisting about the longitudinal axis of the member. When a pre-stressed concrete member is subjected to a rotational twisting about its longitudinal span, it is known as the torsion load. There are two main types of torsions, which are the equilibrium torsions and also the compatibility torsions. The equilibrium torsions refers to the twisting moment induced along the beam in order to maintain the equilibrium. This is a typical equilibrium torsion. Due to the vertical load acting on this member, there will be a twisting moment along this beam span here. In order for this beam to maintain in good equilibrium, the beam needs to have sufficient torsional resistance. The compatibility torsion refers to the twisting moment induced in transverse beam arise purely in order to maintain the compatibility of rotations between the longitudinal and transverse beam. This is a typical compatibility torsion. The differences between this and this is the equilibrium torsions are fully reliant on the torsional resistance. Although we have unsymmetrical loops along the length, this results in the differential in between the rotational moment. However, there are still other secondary mechanisms to help resisting the torsion. Or more precisely, it involves the interactions with the longitudinal and transverse beams. These are some examples of the members subjected to torsional load. This refers to the compatibility torsions. The beam here is subjected to the torsional load. However, the slab member here can act as a transverse member that can help to share the torsion. This refers to the equilibrium torsions. This member here is standalone and when subjected to unbalanced vertical load, the member itself needs to withstand all the torsional load. This is an example of the equilibrium and compatibility torsions. It normally happens at the corners of the buildings where the beam is continuous in the curved form.